Hi guys, welcome to Cat Level Reviews, this is Chris and this is Talon from Mastermind Creations and the Combiner Feral Rex. So, I'm actually going to look at these guys in number order opposed to release order just for um, the sake of it and because I wanted to start with this guy. So, anyway, they're all out now. Uh, Tigris just came out and the only one we're left for is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the sixth member which is basically this guy's skeleton in a lion or tiger form or feline form um, to balance out feral rex and then you can put this whole guy on his back but we'll cover all of that a little bit later on so anyway this is Talon so he is an eagle um, he is a representation of G1 dive bomb quite a good one at that um, not a bad looking figure. This is probably one of his weaker modes, uh, like this anyway. He is overall a nice figure. We'll just um, zoom in on him there. We'll give a little bit better look there. So, that's him there. So, he's got the eel head. Overall, very nice. He's got that very good mastermind creations build quality try not to bump the camera too much uh the head's on a, a bit of a ball joint here and you can position that so if you wanted him flying uh you can so very cool uh the guns on his chest here will uh, rotate so if you want them up or down that's up to you as well it's not too bad uh, i'll zo just zoom out a little bit Bring it back in to focus. So, uh, other articulation here. You've got a waist joint, and you can turn that. The other thing you can do with this waist joint is you can pivot that. So if you wanted, for some reason, a sideways movement, you could do that. Um, but either way, it's there. Uh, the legs will go out about that far. They are slightly limited due to... Um, these panels colliding here and they will go forward a little bit there too now just zooming down you can see here with the feet now I've got those legs fairly spread out there and what you can see is these toes are actually articulated which is really good so you can have those however you like but it means when you put them down in a position like this you can angle them and get that that foot on a really nice position and that gets him nice and stable while we're in this position I'll just show you the the tail piece there that's just on a hinge nothing too special and we'll have a look at the wings so just coming up a little bit so the wings are very cool now we've got quite a few articulation points here uh, we've got one there which brings it all the way up we've also got a flap type position we'll go forward and back and then in the wing itself you can extend that out now to give you an idea I'll just extend those out and move him back a little bit and we'll so that's how wide that is uh, to give you an idea that's my hand and that it's about one wing length and we'll grab something from above me not really prepared good work <laughs> uh, so we'll grab Admiral Akbar there he is he's a 12 inch figure to just give you an idea that's Akbar sorry about him flipping you off he's such a rude bastard um, but that gives you an idea of length so that wingspan's probably about 14 or 15, 16 inches wide, maybe. That's 12, so, you know, you're probably looking at 16-inch wingspan. That's pretty awesome. So, we'll get Akbar out of the way. So, again, with the wings, you can see they're a nice gold, a little bit of reflection off the light there. Uh, quite a nice gold-looking wing pack there. We'll just show you some detail a little bit more there. There we go. So, very cool. Now, with the wings, 
I'll show you this a little bit more later. It's just uh, so it'll fold in. When you fold them out, you can actually spread these blades. Now these bottom ones will move a fair distance, but this one here will stop about there. So what I do is I'll get them all out and then I'll spread them to a, a fairly even arc. So again, we'll just, just zoom out a little bit there. Get our focus back. So they'll go to quite a good arc, but that one will go a little bit further. That one's out to about its max. So there you go, the wings, and then they just fold back up again. Now, great detail, da, uh, blah, blah, detailing all over it. Got these little ports here, that which I'll show you again a little bit more detail. You can put the weapons on any of those ports, but that covers your articulation. Now, this backpack does come off, and it has quite a few ports here. So you've got five points of contact. I just keep for this mode uh, for for Talon just the four pegs there, and that will will peg into these four holes. But you've also got the combiner port there for the arm or backpack mode, and you can use that as well. But it just means that it's a little bit harder to pull on and off, so I just leave that up and uh, peg that in there. Now, you can use these wings, which I'll again show you later on when we do the combined review, on both Leo Ducks, Tigris, and uh, Talon here, and also the six member when it comes out, because they all have this uh, rear port. It won't go on Bovis or Fortis, unfortunately, because a flying rhino would be cool. But hey, so that's your wing pack. While I've got that off, we can just see Talon a little bit better here. So you've got him there, and he's yeah, he's an eagle. Now you will see in the photos I put up earlier, you can get him in a flight mode. Uh, if you've got a strong enough stand, he's fairly hefty, so um, it's up to you. Now, for transformation, I'm going to leave this off just for ease of uh, moving things around, and we'll just zoom out a little bit there. So, for transformation, it is pretty simple. Flip that up out of your way to start with. Now, with the claws... We're going to go over, fold in, fold over, like that. So, you can do it any order you want. Fold in, fold over, in like that. Now, come to the legs here. Flip around to the back. You're going to open this flap up, open this flap up. And then you're going to extend that leg out like so. And then extend that leg out like so. And there you have the start of his legs. Now... With that side panel that we did, you're just going to unpeg that, flip it around, and fold it over, and then that will close back in and just sit there. And that's your foot. Same thing here. We're going to fold the foot over, peg it in, turn it around. Oops, sorry, you don't need to turn it around. And there are your feet. Now, like most of these uh, limbs, they have these little... Uh, panels here, which try and get a really good focus for you. I'm doing a manual focus on this video because I've been trying a few different ways, like pre filmed and recording audio. But I actually like this more natural form because I'm not really into scripting that much. So, anyway, that just gives you an idea of why I'm fiddling around. Uh, so, these just slide back a little bit, which unpegs them, come around to the side, and push that back in. So what it does is it just bulks the leg out a little bit. So same back on the other leg. And uh, there you have your legs done. Now, bring that back down. Now, you have two options. You can either rotate just the black sections like that. And that will give him, in his articulation, a backward bend. Which is up to you. Or you can rotate... Uh, the other section and give him an ab crunch. So it's up to you. I like to have the ab crunch. So that's what I'm going to do. Now with the arms, I'm just going to unpeg 
the hand there and you can bring it out one and then you can just bring that fist out and it leaves a little gap there now with tigress it comes with a pack of things that you can fill these gaps in with uh, it's up to you and again you can turn these whatever way you want and peg the other arm and unfold that now with the head pretty easy stand that up flip the head around now it's up to you what you want to do with uh, the actual head there we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see so as I say it's up to you what you want to do with the the head there focus would be good so you can just push that peak down and you can have him just with like a cone head or you can just bring that up a little bit down and then push it in over his head so he kind of has a peak I kind of like that positioning um, with the peak but again it is personal preference well got him up here grab your wings and put them back on the back there and then We'll just zoom out a little bit, a little bit, and there we have Talon in his robot mode. So very cool. While we've got him like that, I'll just do a quick size comparison for you, because uh, who else would I do it with? <laughs> uh, we'll grab Masterpiece G2 side swipe because he's about a Voyager scale, and there you have that that scale there. So. Talon's a little bit bigger. They're quite large figures. Um, definitely a good Voyager size. So that gives you an idea of his size in robot mode. Now, uh, doing pretty good getting this at one take for once. Now, we've covered some of the articulation. I'm just going to cover a bit more now. Uh, our head will go up and down on a ball joint. And it's also got this flap here. There goes my phone that will um, let him look forward if you wanted to do that. But you can get a bit of a flight position if you play with the head as well. So head is there. Now, wings we already know the articulation of, so we're just gonna get those out of the way for the time being. Now the, the arms will rotate all the way around if you wish, and they will go out on a lovely ratchet. Bicep swivel double jointed elbow wrist swivel and the wrist will move in and out so second arm is the same of course uh, you've got two points of waist articulation and the over crunch that we spoke about legs are on ratchets so he will very easily do a high kick like so because I know some people like high kicks um, you don't have an upper thigh swivel but you have like one at the knee and you've got a 90 degree knee bend, but if you really wish to mess around with it, you could get a further knee bend, but it messes up your foot. So probably not going to do that. And the feet are on these um, little bar and a ball joint. So you can get that in whatever position you wanted. So if you want a really deep um, position there, you can get him in whatever you want. So there you go. So that's your articulation. It's not bad. Uh, of course you have this tail that can get in the way, but it's sort of up to you where you want to position that. Now, wings again, sort of whatever you want to, want to do with them. They are fairly articulated as we've seen, but they are a little back heavy, so you need to watch uh, there goes my phone again because I'm not answering the message. Now, got our little swords here. These come with him. You can put them in his hand. Now, uh, if you've never seen one of these guys before, they have this little uh, in the hand here. I'll try and show you. So in the hand here, you can see like the little circular area there. And these swords have a like an oval shape. So you sort of need to push them in, get them into that hand, and then sort of twist them in, and then they will lock in like so. Now, what that means is 
they are a little bit tricky to um, position. Now, if you don't want them on there, you can turn him around, and you've got these ports here. You can just plug that up into there if you wanted, or I like to have them the other way around, and it's like a little holster for his swords. So that's his swords. Again, he has the the wrist mounted cannons and to pop them out just turn rotate and pull that out on the angle like so now these have been known to stress a little bit so just be careful with that and my battery's starting to die so we better hurry up Ugh, dropping things so peg that on the back and he has one more weapon which is the Sniper rifle here So I've got that you can have it folded up or you can have it folded out Either way this one's a little easier to put in the hand because you can do it from above So you can just slot that Sort of push to the the far side of the hand and you can slot that in and he has his rifle and with a bit of Working You can get that in both hands and he can um, he can have that in both hands like so so that's your sniper rifle uh, again the swords or well, not again I haven't said it the swords and the sniper rifle will combine into combined weapons for feral rex and again we'll show those in the uh, combined mode uh, coverage now Details on him, again, are very good. Uh, paint work is mainly on the, the shins and the wings. Uh, a little bit on the face and the eyes there, as well as the gold eyes up there. Little bits and pieces over the rest of him. But most of it is moulded colour. I kind of wish these uh, shin, uh, not shin, thigh cover things were a little bit more matched. And it does break it up a little bit. And these silver shins can look a little sort of out of the colour scheme, just a tiny bit, um, but not too bad. Just because they were black on the original, I believe, but I don't actually mind it. It breaks up the knee a little bit. Maybe a wash or something on them would just, just darken them a little bit. But overall, it, it's a good-looking figure. And there's just details everywhere, so no blank spots. There's besides the forearms, which can be fixed, as I said. No real hollow spots. Very well-made figure, and I think it's quite worth the price of around, I think it's around 90 US plus shipping, depending on where you get it from. All right, I'm just gonna throw him another pose, and we'll uh, we'll finish up, and I'll just give you a little bit more summary. All right, guys, just to finish up. So again, this is a video review of the Mastermind Creations Feralcon Talon from the Feral Rex Combiner team. Uh, very good figure, very impressed with it. Build quality is immaculate, it's awesome. Immaculate is probably the wrong word. Uh, is very well done. It's a very easy to play with action type figure, opposed to some robots. You just gotta stand there and that's all you can do. It's very poseable, you can put him up on a stand like I said before. Uh, the pose here, I just got him looking at one of the hands that comes with uh, Fortis or Bovis. Just like, hmm, so this is my fate. But very good figure. Again, the detailing and paint apps are very well done. Uh, everything is tight or loose, depending on what it's meant to be, and it does its job very well. The only issues I've had are some of the pegs where you put the swords on can be a little tight, uh, and that's probably about it. So, Talon, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate any likes, comments, shares, etc. Um, any questions, please leave a comment and we'll be back with our next review, which will be another Feral Rex member. Thanks for watching, guys. That's Talon. I'm Chris, a reviewer. Bye.